Okay, so something that a lot of people don't know with the iPad app is that you can actually remote control it. And so this is one of the hesitations that a lot of people have with using iPad, especially for permanent installs, is how do I remotely support it? Well, you actually can do that quite easily with Breeze. So in this instance here, if you have a print server on site to handle your printing, in this case, just a small low powered Windows PC, in addition to Breeze Hub and the event, ed event editor app that gets installed, uh, you'll also notice there's another app called Camera Controller. Now, originally this was used as uh, the first way to connect a remote, uh, a DSLR or mirrorless camera to the iPad was via um, a PC, which is a bit of a crazy concept now because you can direct connect it to the iPad. Uh, but one of the benefits of this app is that it also has the function to uh, basically display a screen recording in real time of the iPad, which is what we're looking at here, um, and the ability to send touchscreen actions to the iPad, which gives you a way to remote control it. Um, so it's not quite the same as clicking about on the screen, but it allows you to do almost everything you'd ever need to do um, on the iPad. Uh, so what we've done is just basically set up a remote connection to the PC and then from the PC we can use the camera controller app to in turn control the iPad. Now this function is actually going to come to Breeze Event Kite in the cloud uh, quite shortly. Uh, so you'll soon be able to do this without having a PC on site and you'll be able to remote control iPads, change camera settings, sync events, all that sort of thing. So let's have a quick look at how it works. Now this is actually a real photo booth um, uh, out in the wild, so I'll have to be a little bit careful about what we do here. Um, but you've got a few options here you can see. You can log the licenses in and out. Um, so I won't do that, but we could go ahead and log that license out. Uh, we can sync the event. So uh, if we hit the sync button, we can basically update our uh, iPad with the from Dropbox or from our own web server uh, with any changes that we've made. Um, very easily, or we can change it to a different um, set of events altogether. Uh, and then you can send touchscreen actions. So on this particular screen, um, we can see the options available are to switch to profile one, and go to the home screen or exit from ready. So um, I'm going to quickly go and hit the home button. So this is going to exit us out of the photo booth. And you'll see it's taking us back to the main breeze screen. And now I'm going to get back into this event. There's two events here. I want to select this first one, I'm going to hit send and it's gonna put me back into uh, the first uh, first profile, I'm ready to go. Now this is set up as a payment booth and you have to use a QR code. Uh, you have to purchase a single use QR code uh, to uh, you scan at the booth to start your session, but I can override that and run it through sort of manually by switching to profile one. And now I'm into the booth and you can see that there's four backdrop options here and I can even cycle through those by selecting them from the list here. So I can uh, go to ready screen two, uh, back to background two, three, uh, et cetera. And when I'm ready to take a photo, I can even do that and I can hit the still start button and I can start the countdown, which I won't do because there's no one there and it's gonna probably struggle to focus. Um, but basically, yeah, so you can completely remote control an iPad uh, with Breeze uh, really quite easily. Um, so I'm just gonna exit out of this so we set it back to uh, the proper start, and we'll restart that event. So it's a really handy uh, utility. A lot of people didn't know this was here. Um, and like I said, a lot of this functionality is coming to the cloud uh, really soon. But in the meantime, you can do it this way through the Camera Controller app um, on a PC that's probably going to be acting as your print server. Uh, any questions, just jump in the comments and let me know.